So hello everyone, this is So Hard Work and I'm Caroline and really nice to meet all of you again. I know it has been a while since I've done an tarot and or oracle card deck review. So for this uh, session actually, I'll be doing one on the Power Thought Cards. So this is by Louise Hay by Hay House Company. So Louise Hay's company actually, and this deck is the Power Thought Cards. She has a few, um, few different decks that she has, but I was actually guided to purchase the Power Thought Cards instead, rather than the other ones. So the behind for this deck is like this, and it's a deck that's printed in China and made in China and by Hay House and all together you have 64 cards in this deck and I have been enjoying Hay House's um, publishers their yeah, deck cards because their cards the stock card is very very um, made of really good material and I really enjoy shuffling with these cards and using them. And I've been using these for a while, although I don't really use this during when I do tarot and oracle reading or during um, healing sessions. But these cards um, don't really seem frayed even from me shuffling, from me using for a while actually. I actually um, used another deck that I have called the Buckflower Oracle deck, but it seems like it is going to wear and tear, so I may be purchasing another deck to replace that in the future. So this is on the cardstock material, and it is it has some form of uh, material covering the original paper material printing, and it seems waterproof but I don't think the entire card is waterproofed uh, fully waterproof so uh, yeah that's that is uh, you wouldn't want to try that to see whether if it's uh, waterproof or not so the entire deck is a 64 card deck and it has some um, affirmations that you can use so at the front of it is a illustrated picture and a very simple illustrated picture. So this card has life is simple and easy. And it's the same for each and every card, for all the 64 card in this deck. So though at the other side of the deck, of the card though, I mean, sorry. It says all that I need to know at any given moment is revealed to me. I trust myself and I trust life all is well. So it's a short, um, affirmation, empowerment, message and quote um, other than the one that's printed in the front and um, more at the back that you are able to use actually and it is related and connected to the message at the front and all of the cards have these printed at the back. So the one next card for example, I have the perfect living space so it's a simple illustration at the front and at the back it's a much more detailed one so I see myself living in a wonderful place I fulfill all my needs and desires it's it's in a beautiful location and at a price I can afford and this is an extension of the affirmation and empowerment printed at the front so you are able to use it in your life um, if you are using it as an affirmation deck then you can use the quote the empowerment the affirmation just as it is if you are using it as a oracle and tarot deck though I would say I've tried to use that um, if fellow viewers are thinking of using this as a Terran Oracle supplement, um, more as an Oracle card supplement with your Tarot readings. I would say it is doable 
but you would have to work through your reading sessions a couple of rounds to get familiar with the deck. Mainly, I have to keep tuning in with spiritual family and, and divine spirit. Um, the overall message that they actually have chosen, for example, if it's this card that's chosen in the reading session, I will have to keep tuning in with them what is actually the message though. They have drawn this card, what's the reason, what is the message, what's the guidance for the client and that they have drawn this card as a card amongst the 64 card instead. And um, usually I will get a rough message, perhaps some keywords at the back, that is the message or the guidance for the client, specifically the words. Uh, it can be a sentence, it can be a phrase, it can be a quote. It can also be at the front, the illustration or the image, as a guidance message for the client as well or it can even be an affirmation card literally for the client to use so I would actually send a JPG uh, picture a picture or photo to the client itself the front and the back for them to use it as a healing tool uh, affirmation tool and a healing tool for them to use in their lives so um, these are various examples if you are thinking about using this deck of cards as an oracle card supplement tool in your reading sessions because it can be a little tricky interpreting um converting translating or interpreting in a reading sessions when it comes to certain questions right i mean like if it's a very specific question like uh what time should I go to the to the hair salon? And you have these stack of cards. And when you want to interpret the message, it's going to be pretty tricky. So I would say you would have to work with these stack of cards um, and see how you're going to work with them. But I often use this as an oracle card supplement to my tarot card readings and uh, do my readings um, to see what other messages, uh, intuitive messages or insights, insights mainly um, in my client situations and um, work with my spiritual team of light in this manner. So that is one of my review as a tarot oracle reader and energetic healer. Um, how I use this deck of cards and it's an example for um, you guys if you're thinking about that and I will just give a short brief viewing to you guys of the pictures illustrations mainly the front card not the back um, how it is because it's a very beautiful deck So just a few of these illustrations uh, for you guys to see. It's a very creative deck and I like the illustration and visualizations, um, mini images. For people who don't really work really closely with affirmation and empowerment um, decks. You may find when you want to use it in your reading sessions, it can be a little challenging interpreting them and using them actually. Um, 
for specific questions in your reading with your clients. And people who are very familiar with tarot and oracle readings will know what I mean by that. So just a few more. So for the rest, I believe you're able to look at more of the cards um, online because there are 64 of them uh, for this deck. I don't want to go through each and every one of them. Um, yeah, so what are there anything else? Um, so that's about it. For people who are really looking at this deck as a healing tool uh, an empowerment tool, a healing tool, I would say go for it really. It is a wonderful deck to use and use it as a meditative tool, use it as a motivational and empowerment tool as well to put it up in your space, your desk, uh, your workplace and you can just pick one and ask, um, just pick one as Divine Spirit ask the angels, ask your spiritual family of light to guide you to one card each day and pick one or one card and then, then put it in your space. Put it in your car, your space, bring it with you and it act, can act as a meditation tool, as a healing tool to help you focus on what um, message and guidance, key focus energy for you to focus on. And oftentimes when you go to healing, um, shifts, changes, adjustments, we really need that extra support that we really need. And more than often, um, most of us when we go through changes, we realize that um, the support isn't really there. And um, yeah, and we really need, um, this can be an excellent tool um, for supporting you in your healing and change and any adjustment that you actually go through in your life and you feel you really need that too. And I'm seeing just about in all areas of your life, uh, this deck of cards can help you with if it's about change in your career, um, about motivating you, inspiring you to move forward in your life, being creative, um, having fun, these have all of these in this deck that you can use as um, a tool, a supportive tool and an affirmation tool as well. So I would say um, if you're really into affirmation work, empowerment work, inspirational work, this deck is one that you can really uh, look into and see whether if it resonates with you. Um, but on the overall note, I would say you can go for it and get it. I don't really regret my purchase and I really enjoy this deck immensely. I love the visual, the illustrations. It is really, really creative. Um, I don't really like gloomy illustrations or um, what you call that. Um, that's a word called little dark illustrations and images and um, I don't really like those type of um, it's like the energy coming from the image and the visualization makes me feel a bit scared and I don't really want to go into a reading uh, using you know those type of images so um, yeah, so with this that I enjoy the illustrations and images immensely. Um, perhaps for some people, the, the visualizations and the images may not really um, vibe with you somehow. And I would say that as to a lot of the affirmation and empowerment decks from Hay House, you can take a look as well. Um, for me, this is the only deck I have from Hay House, so this really is one of the reviews that um, I would say um, one of the purchases I enjoyed. 
I took a long while to decide on my choice of deck cards to get from Hay House and this was actually it and I don't really regret it so um, see what drives with you see what suits you see what resonates with you and then uh, go for it if you feel like you are being guided to go for it then go for it and make that purchase and thank you all for joining in with so hard work me caroline really nice to see all of you again and i hope i'll be back for another tarot oracle card deck review session once again maybe uh, in the short future or near future <laughs> so see you guys again and have a great day ahead or great night ahead wherever you are